Today on Dockside TV, we're gonna bundle up wintertime fishing with the boys here, and we're gonna catch bass, speckled trout, and redfish. Stay tuned for this episode of Dockside TV. Finding these redfish aren't real tight to the bank, right in the grass. They're right off the first or second drop. Sitting at about eight foot of water. Like I said before, they're pretty cold when I put my hands on them. Telling me to make sure you jig it all the way to the back, all the way back to the boat. Let me, let me take this one off real quick and I'm gonna kind of show you the jigging method, how we work it in these man-made deep canals. Another nice red on that tiger bait. Beautiful fish. I'll come back here. So what you want to do, how y'all doing pups? Y'all, am I getting your way? No? Y'all are good? You're gonna throw it right up on tight to that grass. Like right now, I went a little too close. All right, I felt it come. I felt the lure come off the grass. I'm gonna let it go to the bottom, and I can I can feel that there's no grass on it. It's gonna sink down, and then the further it comes back to the boat, the oh, long the longer I need it to go back to the bottom because it takes longer to get to the bottom because of the depth is getting deeper and deeper as we get back closer to the boat. So again, let's do that again. Up tight to the grass. If you get in the grass, just kind of rip it out a little bit and then in pause, let it fall down. You want it to fall right at the edge of that grass. And then you're just gonna work it down them different contours, two foot, four foot, six foot, eight foot. And we're finding these reds right off that second and third drop. Always watch your line. There he is. There's the trout there. Good fish, good fish. And that little segment there, couldn't explain it better. Showed you railing in a trout. Showed how we're jigging it down those contours. And you watch your line. And all I saw right there is my line jump. I knew to hit that fish. I thought it was a red, but to my surprise, our favorite fish to catch. A beautiful 16 inch trout, maybe 17 inches. Get out here copy this pattern technique of fishing and I promise you it will put fish in the boat during the winter months. When fishing these man-made canals, what you want to target on is right at the end, end of these grass lines. These are straight deep canals. When you're looking on a map, winter time, low water, cold water, water in the 50s to low 50s, you want to target these man-made canals and the way to find them they're gonna be straight, very straight canals. Uh, bayous and creeks are not naturally straight as an arrow. When you see a straight canal, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be man-made. And when it's man-made, that means it's gonna be pretty deep. And that's what the fish like to focus on. They wanna find deep water. Now, some of the best ones you're gonna find are the ones that have a lot of creeks and duck ponds dumping back into the deeper water. So when you're looking on Google Earth or some kind of map system, standard mapping, that's what we use on our GPS, a standard mapping chip. 
We're looking for straight, deep canals that have a lot of creeks and tributaries jumping into them. And what you want to do is throw right up on the edge of that grass line in about two foot of water, and you're just going to dribble that lure off the shallow parts. And depending on how the canal is set up, you're going to hit a cliff, a canyon, to where it's going to go from two feet down to about ten foot. And that's the sweet spot is right off that major drop. There he is. Just now, I could see this little, it looked like a little red to me. Oh, that's a nice trout here. Maybe it was a trout. Good fish. I could see up on the shallow flat that something charged some bait. As you can see, Noah and I talking about it. Threw right up in there. Didn't get bit immediately, but as right when I came down off that drop off, boom, there he was charging that matrix shad, the tiger bait. Beautiful fish. This is really what we're looking for is nice trout, which get in these man made canals, but. Usually these bluebird sky days, low water cold, they're redfish days, and that's what we're catching a majority of today. But this is a nice bonus. Nice trout. Nice trout. I don't know if you saw that on camera. I don't even know if my lure hit the water yet. The fish was on it. It's like he was sitting there with his mouth open. Nice red. The only bad news is this red's going to, although we want him, it's going to mess up our trout bite here. Got a little run of speckled trout as Noah shows you this nice trout right there. But as I keep saying, the diversity of what you get to catch in the marsh when the water's low like this, can't beat it. Can't beat it, guys. Trout, res, bass. We're catching it all right now. This is one of my favorite things to do. Yeah, you can edit. One of my favorite things to do is you very rarely see anybody way back here in the marsh, and the fishing's just great. Solid slot red here. Catching mostly throwback reds today, but every once in a while you bump into a good one like this. Good one, good one for the grill. They like to fatten up for the winter. I mean, look at that redfish, y'all. That is ridiculous. That's about as girthy of a red as you're gonna get. I'm even gonna give you, a, let me measure this fish for you and I'll weigh him on the boger grip. Again, on that tiger bait. Here's my measuring stick. This red is 22 and three quarter inches long. Watch how fat this fish is gonna be. 22 and three quarters, almost six pounds at 22 and three quarter inches long. Incredible. I mean, a six pound red typically is gonna be about 24, 25 inches long. What you got there? Looks like Noah's got a bass this time. So we just went trout, red, bass. We hadn't moved five feet. I think you got a bass, huh? Let me help you out there, Cap. Noah's using the Green Hornet Matrix on a 3 8 black platinum. Does it get any better than this though, guys? The variety, the action, Louisiana at its finest.
When fishing a dead in the winter time and you have these low water conditions, I like to really get up in the marsh because there's so many different species you're gonna catch and a lot of times around this fishery we're in, what you catch a lot of when the water's going like this is these small rat reds. Now that's obviously not a keeper, but it keeps the action high and, you know, action packed and you're gonna catch a lemon of keeper reds with them. So it's really enjoyable to target the marshy areas. We're gonna target deeper canals. And what we're looking for is keeper reds and keeper bass, but in between catching our keeper sized fish, you're gonna catch throwback reds that you're tired of looking at them, but it's a lot of fun. Let's see if we can get another one. Got a little double trouble action going on here. That's what you're gonna find a lot of times in the winter time, they're gonna be ganged up. If you catch a fish in the winter, do not keep on going. You wanna really milk that area as the fish are ganged up. Noah's got a nice trout, I got another throwback wren. But we'll take it, cause the bites are fast and furious this time of year. Now let me get back in there. What you're gonna find in the winter time, when you, when you go to take the fish off the hook, he's gonna be very cold. And when you feel them very cold, that ought to tell you a couple of things. One, fish the deeper water. And two, when you find a little bite, stay on it because the fish are packed up in schools. I don't know what the cold does to them, but it makes them school up very tight, especially redfish. We're gonna just work this area over and try to milk it, put some nice fish in the box. Another bass, a lot of people let these go and we let the bigger ones go, but this is one of the best eating fish there is out here, these small, not head bass one of our favorites we're using a tiger bait matrix shed if you watch a lot of our winter time fall time marsh episodes and we're deep in the marsh this is probably my number one go-to bait in the marsh it's a purple top with the chartreuse belly and it simply catches everything bass reds and trout Cold water bass. That's the other beautiful thing about fishing the marsh in the winter time or any time, but we really like to target it in the winter as you get to catch bass, trout, redfish. But one of my favorite things to do is when you find these bass ganged up, they all charge it just like finding a big school of speckled trout. We get days of catching 30, 40, 50 bass. And when we do, it's usually this time of year when the water's really low like today and very cold. So a lot of fun, catch a lot of species of fish. I hope you really enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV. Make sure on your colder days, low water days, you wanna target these man-made canals and catch what we call the Cajun Slam. Until next time, good fishing. Make sure to stay up to date with all of our Dockside TV episodes. Simply hit the subscribe button right here on your YouTube channel. Stay up to date with all of the action going on around the surrounding areas as we catch multiple species of fish from trout to bass to redfish, flounder, and even crappie. Make sure to hit the post notification button also, which will allow you to know when our next and freshest Dockside TV episodes are uploaded.